Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. It's not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Cancer placement you resonate with, messages may also resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed. At the end, we'll pull oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Cancer, let's go. Looking good. Six of Swords, the Fool card, Major Arcana, and the Three of Pentacles. So far, there is something that you're moving towards, moving on to. Um, whatever it is you're moving away from, whether it's just a reality or a person. Yeah, definitely a mindset, a reality, a, a paradigm. You're leaving any sort of um, stuckness behind. There is something that you are absolutely ready to leap towards here with the Fool card. Something new, some sort of new adventure. I'm also hearing Head Over Heels. Could be with the Capricorn. <laughs> Devil card, Major Arcana for Capricorn. One more card for Cancer, please. Some of you might be leaping towards the Capricorn, quite literally. And we also have the Three of Pentacles. Let's see, one more card for Cancer, please. Let's get the whole story. But whatever it is you're walking away from, it's absolutely worth walking away from because it did nothing but keep you in your head. Last card is the Death card, Scorpio Energy. And Virgo, Hermit Energy at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's some sort of isolation that you are really getting ready to leave. You've been trapped in your head for a while. Or this could be someone that you're dealing with if this is not your energy. But with the Eight of Swords, Six of Swords here in your past position, you are definitely leaving any sort of overthinking, stuck in the head, non-movement, the illusion of non-movement. You're just kind of over that. You're ready to get things moving. This could be with someone that you're moving forward with. Or this could just be... Could definitely be a situation that is calling you to sort of leave this sort of energy behind. Definitely has been some isolation for a while. Lonely, not in the loneliness, but definitely isolation by choice. The hermit chooses to isolate themselves. It's time to leap. It's time for something new here. I feel like there's something you are very much being drawn to. Capricorn, uh, Scorpio energy. Um, I don't think this devil card is representing so much... Definitely, well, well, yeah, there was some, there was definitely some sort of, I think it's a, excuse me, a mindset, some sort of mindset that you've been carrying, that you've been allowing yourself to play out or allowing yourself to subscribe to, that you're definitely leaving behind ending. Something could be encouraging you to end this. Seven of Swords, lots of swords. Knight of Wands, <coughs> excuse me, Sagittarius Energy. Excuse me. Seven of Swords. We have the Justice card here. Some sort of karmic cycle. Yeah, very lots of stagnation though. With the hangman underneath there. Lots of stagnation. Something, a situation that was keeping you very stagnant. You were almost like obsessed with it. It could also be an obsession with stagnation. An obsession with self-deception. Definitely some sort of mindset here for you or somebody that needs to end in order for things to align death card the three of pentacles in the future energy there's a releasing there is a, a releasing of some sort of mindset heavy mindset energy here also very contradicting because you have the hermit you have the knight of wands which is very out there energy the hermit is very in not out there energy some of you might have been dealing with people of all kinds of personalities, multiple type of confusing personalities, deceptive people, people that are non-committal, people that cannot be relied on. Associating yourself with these kind of people is what's keeping you in this sort of uh, swords hold. And it's like maybe finally making the decision to isolate yourself from these type of people. Moving away from a certain group of people that's keeping you stuck to a mindset. Or a paradigm that's not working for you. It's it's unhealthy. Definitely unhealthy. But there is something that is triggering release though. The Fool card, the Death card, beautiful energy to, to sort of get rid of this shit. And with the Three of Pentacles, there's definitely some sort of alignment. Some sort of working. Something that's going to start working now. Or maybe this is making new friends. Associating yourself with different people. Taking a chance. Making new, making new friendship circles that actually are conducive to where you want to go karmic cycle over some sort of karmic cycle seeing things very differently now seeing things as you should be seeing them for some of you for a lot of you i do get it some sort of circle whether it's a work circle a friend group 
that's not helping you get it's not helping you get past or leave behind bad habits being in this friend circle friend group work environment it's encouraging the bad habits and that's not what you want you want to start you know maybe changing your environment let's get some oracles see what's going on so we have sag capricorn virgo aries scorpio libra lots of energies but there you are virgo showing up as your true self getting back to your true self as the hermit so whatever it is i think you're realizing yeah this is not good for me i gotta go i gotta stop associating myself with these type of people this type of mindset this type of relationship i'm not getting so much that it's specifically romance that's way too many show the world the real you yeah confidence is your key to success and conclusions are within reach yeah so whatever it is you need to figure out you'll figure it out maybe isolation is actually the key right now that could also be guidance get back to your true self and isolate for a little bit so you can see people as they are so you can get a better perspective on who needs to go and what needs to go and who needs to stay in that type of thing in order to rebalance a little bit of isolation is going to enable you to rebalance right now. For those of you where this is a romantic relationship, that is no good for you. Let's see. Where's the guidance for Virgo? Sorry, not for Virgo. Was I saying Virgo the whole time? Cancer, I apologize. I feel like I was saying Virgo. Cancer. What is the guidance for Cancer? So you need to maybe isolate yourself for sure. Take on more of this Virgo energy. Guidance for Cancer, please. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your in your love life right now. Mm -hmm. So there is a need to refocus. In whatever way it is, there is a need to refocus. I do get a sense of um, kind of getting off track a little bit. Because we do also have the Three of Pentacles here getting off track a little bit maybe it's time to sort of not go out as much <laughs> that hermit energy refocus on the finances and getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so there's some sort of new energy for sure i was getting that with the fool card <clears throat> there is new energy but i think you need to do a little bit of isolation and focus before it can come in there's some sort of cycle here that needs to end some sort of unhealthy attachments or associations. Guidance for cancer, please. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. Number 23, which is a five, which is indicative of change. Some shit needs to change. Change needs to happen. Is that the only five? Yeah. So there's some sort of guidance, too, that is that you're maybe not getting because there's not enough me time. There's not enough me time to hear the to hear the messages, to hear what it is you need to find, to hear what it is you need to know, to get the conclusions. Full moon eclipse. Lots of full moon energy here. Something could be happening around a full moon. All right, let's get one of these for cancer. Your best is more than enough, I promise. And if you can't find a way, carve your own fucking path. That is definitely the Sagittarius energy. So, so some of you, you need to stop chilling with certain people and do your own thing. Because wherever it is you want to get to, you're not going to get to by hanging out or be associating with certain types of people. Whether in relationship, friendships, work, whatever it is. You need to be your own person right now. Confidence is your key to success could be some snakes around you too that are also blocking you from what it is you're trying to accomplish so reevaluation time for sure is the group you're if it, are the people you're associating with you helping you or, or hindering you that seems to be the question that seems to be what it's coming down to let's get one of these for you cancer and wrap it up cancer Time to change, make some changes. Ride solo for a little bit. Don't be afraid to be solo. That could also be with that confidence is your key to success. 
and we also have the wolf here the lone wolf so there's definitely something about uh doing things on your own or keeping things to yourself don't dim to fit in see how are you dimming in order to fit in some sort of environment that you are in in whatever capacity that is hindering you they're keeping you in this old pattern old paradigm old reality not allowing you to release karma or a karmic cycle it's time to open the eyes the only way the eyes can open is if you isolate or create some sort of space and soul family calling your tribe you don't have to do it alone so yes more confirmation that it has to do with who you're hanging out with you're not you're not with your true soul family yet and you'll see it soon you'll you'll realize that soon and as soon as you release this old one then you're able to go into the new one the people that are actually going to encourage you to become your greatest and highest self all right, Cancer, that's your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.